Greetings everyone. In this video, I will be speaking about freelancing in medical writing. There are three reasons that why you can consider freelancing in a medical writing. It can be a game changer. It can be totally change your life. The very first is medical writing is always in demand. There is a lot of demand in medical writing. And second is that it gives you a lot of flexibility. And you can work from, from anywhere, anytime, you know, as per your choice. The third is, which is very much important, it is quite rewarding. How oh, you will be part of advanced health care. You will be part, contributing to the patient care. Now, let's understand what is medical writing. Medical writing is, it can be scientific writing, it can be a regulatory writing. Now, what is the difference between these two? Scientific writing is when you are writing articles for journals, research papers, review articles, right? Or any scientific content or healthcare content. Then whereas regulatory writing is when you are really writing for a medicine, drug discovery. You may be writing some for some pharma. The drug is getting launched to a market. You are writing those documents like protocol, CSR, narratives. All these are regulatory documents. Now question comes like who can be a freelancer in a medical writing? What qualification is needed? In, if you see it is very interesting that medical writer they are coming from a diverse background like starting from your medical health you know your even literature medical you know even uh, your you know life sciences pharmacy all the diverse groups they are medical writers phd students so no matter who you are what your qualification you really don't need advanced medical degree you know so unless you are having an interest in a writing and science, healthcare, you can be a very good medical writer. And uh, what will be the, you know, you can say that where you can work. Okay, this sounds interesting, where you can work. You can work in pharma company, you can work in device companies, you can also work in, uh, you know, uh, hospitals, you can also work for these international organizations like WHO and other to write their content. You know, when you go on their pages, you know, you see, you've seen so much of content is written. So you can take up any role, even for, you can be an editor for some journal, right? Now, how you can get started? You know, if it is sounding very good to you, now how you can get started? You first have to do is that create some portfolio for yourself, you know, so that what, what I mean by creating a portfolio so that, you know, you should be having some examples to showcase your work. Create some examples, right? And even I'll say that if you can initially get some job in a medical writing, nothing like that. You will get a lot of exposure. It may be for a small duration. If that is possible, take it. You will gain a lot of experience. Or if you can consider doing some course, do it. It will again help you, right? Even I have seen one thing, even experienced medical writer, they still do keep on learning new and new things. So coming back to portfolio, create some examples like where you have written maybe a dummy examples uh, if possible then build your website because you are your own boss your company in you if you are working as a freelancer so create that keep it side and so that you can approach clients with full confidence and client also see confidence in you know in you because they already seen your work and even you can do small piece of work for free as well you may be one paragraph, like, so that you can, you know, uh, build a good connection. Now, how you can reach, a, a, you know, uh, these client, potential client, LinkedIn is a very good place. There are many freelancing websites, make your profiles on those, like Upwork, there are many more, you know. So make, you, make your profile there, list your portfolio, maybe some example of your work and also maybe are you interested in a regulatory writing, are you interested in scientific writing because different people's, people they are interested in different fields. Some people are more uh, interested in a review, 
let me switch to a whiteboard to make you understand like some people may be un more interested in a reviewing of the document they are not writing documents so this in itself is a big opportunity or some may be QC just to verify the values you know verify the data that that is also a job like if 5 mg 0.5 mg is written is it written almost same in all the places and from where they have taken it you know to verification of the data review is also include like you know take a five patient five patient entered in the study and you are reviewing this document so uh, you can make a suggestion like instead of entered it should be enrolled so that is the review so you need not to write it is totally amazing you know job you just are reviewing the document and being a scientific writer or a medical writer now what else you need to know is that how to find clients how to find the clients where you can find the clients it is like upwork there are many sites upwork you know uh, there is a freelancer.com uh, uh, even i said that build your connection over a linkedin even job portals so if you go to todaynokri.com or indeed uh, other do you know job portals find uh, just type a uh, freelancing medical writing opportunity you will come to know about many many opportunities you know so that you can pick as a work so these are the places where you can find our work so linkedin is itself is very good you can start writing there you can start saying that i'm open for our work people can approach even academic institute they reach out to you uh, for a uh, you know medical writing work so this is how you can start even you can refer my book i'll you know give it screenshot you can refer it uh, for better understanding standing of a medical writing documents uh, it's available on amazon coming back to our topic uh, now what is the another step you need to take care another step is i'll say that set your rates you know set your rates or you can say that a price tag so that you have to set it and uh, you know maybe per hour based on your country or per hour per document that you can decide and initially it's good if it is reasonable because once you are having a uh, you built a repo uh, you you know you can build on it and interestingly regulatory writing you know is more rewarding than a general medical writing so if you are in a regulatory writing the chances of getting you know money is much much is is better than the other writing you know because it's drug discovery uh, and another thing which you can pay attention is to you know as a because you are company in itself you in your own you are a now a company you are responsible to manage deadline so you need to make a schedule that how if you are doing a commitment how you will meet that commitment and for this i will say it's good if you can build a network of like minded people you can join some you know conferences you can join some medical writing association uh, like a european medical writing association american medical writing association they are very good european medical writing association even you know eu medical writing association even they organize free webinar some time for the beginners and if you go to their websites you will find lot of material which is very helpful to the new medical writer not only new and experience network other way also important that suppose you felt some you you stuck somewhere you can get a help so this is the importance of the network so ultimately you have to manage your time and deadline you are your own boss so um, i believe that freelancing as a medical writer is a very good opportunity uh, on the you know if we wanted to conclude at the end it give you flexibility it is high in demand it is rewarding career uh, it make you feel valued because you, because you are contributing to advanced healthcare so if you like this video uh, please share subscribe and if you are more interested to know this we can make a part 2 also we can deep dive into it